Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm the product designer at Lone Rider. Today we're going to have a look at our luxurious motor tent. Stay tuned. The motor tent was our first product that we designed back in 2012. We wanted a superior adventure riding tent that stored everything that you need plus your bike. Ever since then we've been improving the motor tent bit by bit, optimizing the comfort and the functionality. Let's take a look. The motor tent comes packed in a rainproof carry bag. The loops can be used to attach lightweight accessories such as carabiners, but their main feature is to lock in the straps and secure the bag and prevent it from sliding sideways if the straps become loose. Inside you'll find everything that you need to set up the tent including accessories and a repair kit. The motor tent comes with an inner and outer tent, a colour coded pole system, 18 ground pegs, a ground sheet and of course a rainproof carry bag. The motor tent can be set up pretty easily and even by one person. Start by finding the back of the tent and lay it out on a flat area. The black is the back of the tent. There's three poles that come with the motor tent. Two red poles and one black pole. The black pole fits to the black sleeve. The red poles fit to the red sleeves. So unfold the pole, the black pole first. The poles are pre-bent. This uh, ensures that they are strong in heavy winds. Uh, you can rattle them a little bit, wobble them a little bit, and they'll find a nice continual curve. Once you've found that nice continual curve, feed it through the open side of the sleeve. Try not to, if you get snagged, try not to force it in. Find the problem and relieve it. There's no need to put anything on the other side, it's already done. Just feed the tent through to the bottom of the tent and put it into the lock hole. Take one of the red poles, clip it all together again. Give it a bit of a jiggle so it's nice and curved. Find the end of the sleeve and again feed it through. The final pole is exactly the same. Open it up and feed it through the last red sleeve. And that's it for adding the poles to the tent. Next step, take your two pegs and start at the back and stake them into the ground. Then walk to the front of the tent. Grab the door and move back. Just peg it down. Some slight adjustments may be needed. Now you have the motor tent ready to go. If you're expecting bad weather, we have four guy ropes to stabilize the tent. So just take it out of the little pocket and tension it out. As an optional extra, you can buy the awning kit. The awning kit works on all three doors. You get a bag, two poles, and some guides, and two pegs. Simply unfold the poles, 
unzip the tent. Both sides. Here you can clip in the carabiner to the one end. Then feed through the poles and lock it down. And then you've got an awning to cook under, to keep out of bad weather, and it's high, over six foot high. The SOS ground sheet comes with every moto tent. It's good for the garage area or under the sleeping area. It's also color coded so it's easy to install. So simply unravel it. The hooks are color coded so you can attach black to black, black to black, black to black. If you've set up your motor tent, but you forgot to install your ground sheet under the sleeping area, I'm gonna show you how to install it. First, open the sleeping end, zip. And behind here, you'll see a red hook or loop. Simply attach the red hook to the red D-loop. And push the ground sheet under the motor tent. There's also two black loops here that you can install. So from inside of the tent, all you need to do is release three points. One, two, and three. Then just reach in behind, grab the ground sheet, and install the black hook to the black D-loop. And on the other side, now the ground sheet's installed, you can reattach the inner tent to the outer tent. So let's have a look inside the tent. I'm six foot one or 186 centimeters high and I can stand here quite comfortably. Inside you have a red hook. Uh, on the door, on the inner tent, you've got two pockets and you've also got another pocket on the inside of the tent. And two access doors, which is quite handy if you're one or two people or you want more oxygen or air coming through the inner tent. The door has two layers, one uh, solid privacy sheet and one to keep insects out. To use it, just simply open. From the inside, you can actually open up the door uh, and split it. At the bottom of each door, there's a small hook. This is for security. All you need to do is when the door is closed, clip the loop and attach it, and nobody can open the door from the outside. So when it's really hot like today, what you can do is open all three doors at the front and also at the back and let a lot of breeze through. To do that, Simply pull the zippers up, roll the doors up, and you can use these tags to lock it down. On the back, you can also open it up and let air through. So for maximum airflow, just open the privacy shield and leave the mosquito netting. You can either hook the privacy shield with the tie downs or just stuff it into the side pocket here. Inside is very simple but practical. On the wall, you've got two pockets, and in each corner, you've also got a pocket to stash things in. On the roof, you've got two hooks that you can put lights or washing lines or anything that you need to hang from above. So inside is very large. I'm six foot one, and that's about 186 centimeters, and I can lie down perfectly. I'll show you. And have space at the top of my head, plenty room for two bunks and lots of gear. 